After the Soviet Union successfully developed the T-72 main battle tank, it not only became one of the main tanks of the Soviet Army, but also a star export product of the Soviet Union. Many countries competed to purchase it. Romania once ordered 30 T-72 MEM tanks from the Soviet Union, but in addition to the order, Romania also wanted authorization to produce them independently. Romania's idea was strongly rejected by Soviet leaders. At that time, Romania had a considerable military-industrial foundation, and if it were authorized to produce the tanks, it would obviously impact the foreign trade market. In this situation, Romania planned to produce the T-72 tank through reverse engineering. The related work began in 1984. The Ixitum Institute in the capital Bucharest was responsible for the research and development of the turret and ammunition loading mechanism, while the FMGS factory was responsible for the research and development of the chassis. The new tank was named TR-125, with 125 referring to the tank's use of a 125mm A555 smoothbore gun. The TR-125 tank had an extended chassis, reaching a length of 7.9 meters, and was slightly heavier than the T-72. The engine was changed to a 900-horsepower 8VSA3 diesel engine, and the suspension system replaced the six pairs of road wheels with seven pairs of road wheels, still using torsion bar suspension. The sides were covered with skirts to protect the upper part of the tracks. Inside the tank turret, there was a 125mm smoothbore gun of the A555 type, with 42 rounds of ammunition and an automatic loading system. The auxiliary weapon was a 7.62-meter bore PKMT coaxial machine gun with 2,300 rounds of ammunition. There was also a 12.7mm DSHK anti-aircraft machine gun on the top of the turret with 350 rounds of ammunition. Each side of the turret had four smoke grenade launchers. The basic protection of the tank was not much different from the T-72. The front of the turret was equipped with composite armor with a thickness of 500 cm. However, additional armor could be installed on the vehicle to enhance its defense. This measure would greatly increase the weight of the tank, reaching a total weight of 50 tons. Testing of the TR-125 continued from the late 1980s to the early 1990s. The overall performance of the tank was stronger than the early models of the T-72, but by the 1990s, it no longer had an advantage. The officials lost interest in the TR-125 and did not place an order. It is uncertain how many prototype vehicles were produced, with estimates ranging from 3 to 5. The TR-125 tank weighed about 50 tons, with a length of 9.75 meters, gun forward, a width of 3.6 meters, a height of 2.2 meters, and a crew of three, commander, driver, and gunner. Its maximum speed was 65 kilometers per hour, with a maximum range of 435 kilometers.